Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. Sorry this is going up a couple of days late. It's just been, you know, a little bit crazy here. Anyway, this is my update to Pan That Palette. I am currently working on four palettes, really. One, which is my main focused Pan That Palette, and it is part of the Fantastic Ladies Collab Facebook group theme which is the fun sized palette that was created by Jackie Lutens. I will leave the information about the Fantastic Ladies Collab project and theme in the description box. I'm also working on two Baby Pan That palettes. And then I have one palette that is for the Better Together project that was created by Paula at A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It. And that is also a Fantastic Ladies Collab Facebook group project. All right, we're going to start with my main palette, which is the fun sized palette. And I chose the Natasha Denona. I can't show it to you because it's see through the Natasha Denona mini love palette. So let me show you what this looked like last month. And this is how it's looking now. Ooh, I'm so excited. I think last month. If I remember correctly, I had pan in this shade. Wait, did I? Oh, yes. Okay, so I did have pan in this one, little baby pan. I have expanded that one quite a bit. And as you can see, I've hit pan in the first, like, four shades total. So I hit pan in this one, this one, and this one over the last month, which is super exciting. I'm so happy about this. These shades are called You Are My True Love, I believe. It's all, you know, I can't see what the shades originally were. I'm pretty sure that's right. And, of course, this palette is broken. I've mentioned that before. It drives me crazy. But it's very difficult to depot these, and I really don't want to ruin the shadows. Maybe when it's time to repress them... I may go ahead and depop, but for right now, I'm not going to do it. So anyway, that's how things are looking right now. I am so happy. I actually hit pan in this shade today. I am wearing this palette for the most part on my eyes. I do have a topper here in kind of the center of my eye, which is a Stila Glitter and Glow that I'm working on, but pretty much everything else. And oh, the inner shade of my lid is from a, a Huda Beauty palette, but everything else comes from this palette here. I love this palette. It's a great like travel palette. It's a great everyday palette. Sometimes all I need is to put this shade through my crease, use a little, a fluffy brush to deepen the outer corner, and then use one of these two shades and then this shade on the lid and I'm done. It's very easy. So I really do enjoy this palette. Now let's talk weights. Weights are a little weird this month. And I'm thinking part of the reason why, I don't think it's the scale. I think it's the humidity. Because we've definitely, we have a lot, of, a lot more humidity here in Dallas than we have in, in the previous couple of months. So let me share with you what's going on with this palette. So this palette weighed... 46.6 grams last month and I had actually used 0.8 grams of shadow out of this in the month of February. So right now it's weighing 46.2 grams, which means I've only used 0.4 grams. That's possible, I guess. But the fact that I have four pans in here and this one is pretty sizable, Makes me think, and I mean, this one, as you can see here, this one's very, a very deep well as well. I just feel like I've used way more than that. It is what it is. Like there's, I mean, the scale says what the scale says. So it says I've lost 0.4 grams out of this. And therefore I've used a total of 1.6 grams out of this palette. This has a total of four grams of shadow, which means I need to use about 0.34 grams per month. And I am, I'm way ahead of that. I'm, a, so for this month, I should have been at 0.9 grams and I'm at 1.6. So I'm doing very well on that palette, even with the weight weirdness. <laughs> and I'll show you why I think that about the rest of these palettes whenever we get to the Natasha and Dodona palette, because that's the weirdest one. All right, moving on to my Baby Pan That palettes. So I have two, as I mentioned. The first one is 
the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Luxury Palette. And this one has one shade finished. I'm working on the other matte. And then there are these two, wait, no, these two shimmer shades. I don't think I've used the shimmer shades very much at all in the last month. I mean, I just don't know if they're worth it, you guys. I just, I don't, the matte is beautiful. When I do a neutral look, this is, or like a warm look, this is the shade I start with. And I love it. It's a beautiful matte. But I don't really care for these other two shades. There's the matte shade. All right, so I just sprayed some all-nighter onto my hand. And here is that topper, which was this one. You can't even tell. And then here is the, uh, the lighter lid shade. So... Maybe. I don't know. I'm feeling a little bit like meh. I have so many other better shadows than that. So we will see what I end up doing with that. I could use them as mixer. Like I could, I could use this one, especially as a frankening. I could franken it. That may be fun. Anyway, I'm not that excited about the other two, but the matte is really nice. Now this one weighed, you can tell I'm kind of like meh about that palette. This palette weighed 50.1 grams last month. It weighs 50.1 grams now. So I have, apparently I haven't used any of this. But I think you can, I think I've, yeah, compared to last month, there's shadow gone. So I don't know. The next baby palette I'm working on is my Pat McGrath Midnight Voyage palette. And I didn't do this for the Charlotte Tilbury palette, but let me pause here and show you what this looked like last month. And this is what the palette is looking like now. And I don't know if you can tell, but I do have pan in the purple shimmer. I'm so excited about that. Everything else in here has minimal use, I would say. I think I used I mean, I would, I use this dark matte shade a couple of times, several times, but you can, you can't even tell. And then I've used this shade maybe once or twice, as well as this shade. Well, actually all of these, I think out of all the other shades, I probably used this one the most next to the purple shimmer, but it doesn't even look like there's a dent in that. So yeah. Now this one's kind of getting a back, getting put on the back seat until I finished the shade in the Natasha Denona palette, or that's the one I should say I'm working on the most. I haven't been doing a ton of neutral looks, to be honest. I've been doing a lot of looks like this because that one, the, the uh, Natasha Denona is my main pan that palette. So that's, I'm kind of focusing on using that one. And I feel like once I get this done, I may focus on this one a bit more. We will see. And the, okay, I didn't tell you the weights. So the Midnight Voyage palette last month weighed 45.1 grams and now weighs 44.9 grams, which means I lost a total of 0.2 grams and I've used a total so far of 0.8 grams since the beginning of the year. I'm still tracking ahead. I should be at 0.75 to be able to finish this in the year because according to Pat McGrath, this has three grams. We'll see. <laughs> All right. And then lastly, I have for my Better Together palette, which again is a Paula project she created. She created it last year. Or we did this project last year as like a addition to Pan That Palette because she had come up with the idea for our Pan, Pan and Every Palette theme. And some of us liked it so much we decided to, we like, begged her to let us do it last year and this year she brought it as a fantastic ladies club project so anyway i am working on the natasha denona Leela palette now i'll show you what this looked like last month like in the you're not going to see that much of a difference because this one i just haven't been focusing a lot on i did use this brown quite a like you know in a in a look or two to help deepen the outer corner, I think I used this shade and this shade, and I want to say this shade in a look and even and this shade as well. I really haven't had to use this 
a crease shade or this one because I have some other shades in other palettes that I'm working on that I'm trying to hit pan in. So I haven't had to reach into this palette for those. But yeah, this one's just got, you know, it's, it's getting love here and there, but it's not anything consistent. It's really a palette to help. Like if, I, if there's a gap in a look I'm going for, I reach for this. Now, this is where I think the humidity is playing a big factor. So when I originally weighed this palette at the beginning of the year in January 1, it weighed 271.4 grams. No, 271.9 grams. At the end of January, I had lost 0.5 grams according to my scale. By the end of February, I had gained 0.1 grams. And now this month, I am back at 271.8, which means I've lost a total so far of 0.1 grams of shadow out of this. So I went up 0.3 grams in this palette. So I don't know what's going on. I think, again, humidity. That's what I'm blaming. It's fine. I was going to do my total. So 0.3, positive 0.1. So basically, based on my weights, I've used a total so far of 0.3 grams, which cannot be right because over the last, I mean, over the last couple of months, it says I've used, my scale has said I've used at least a gram of shadow. <sighs> okay. Anyway, it's fine. As long as I can see progress in the in the actual pans and the palette, then at the end of the year, it will all kind of work out. But that just goes to show you that sometimes it can depend on the time of year that you're weighing something to actually see how much shadow is in here. I think that makes a big difference, at least in my climate. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.